Hi, I decided to do a, um, a video just kind of to help people identify artifacts when they're out searching. Some of these here are are artifacts that that um, are not are not the type that people think that would be artifacts. In fact, that there are, there are so many out there that that limit the Native Americans to arrowheads and um, spearheads and some of those very beautiful well-crafted artifacts and and they failed to understand that they needed lots of different tools grinding tools um, knives scrapers and many of these very practical and not very pretty um, necessarily but in my opinion and with my experience they're they're very well crafted. Um, we just don't understand how they did it, or the the markings that that are on them that identify them. Here's one that I have. This is a um, this is a grinder, although it's really hard to tell. But you can see the V or the cut there. That's that's in them. Um, In the handle, what I would call the handle of this, of this grinder, it's a common way to to identify it, especially after you pick it up and kind of, it's one of the first things I see. I mean, there's other things like uh, the bottom of it is smooth and, um, and you can tell it's been used as a grinder. As you can see there, the bottom is flat, and in that little V area there where my thumb is it is it is um the handle it is part of the handle and so your hand fits right in there the palm of your thumb fits right over it you can see where it's kind of curved around there this is a common way to identify it other than the the, the mark and i'm looking at the, the distinct little v cut that they cut out of there but it's made so that your hand can grip it and your palm of your thumb fits right in there. It's it's a not an uncommon artifact, but it's an uncommon way that it's not very common for people to understand that these are artifacts, but they definitely are and um, well used, as you can tell at the bottom of that, how well used they are. And so, anyway, that's that's one way. So when you pick them up, I mean, they might look just like a normal rock, but as you start looking at it, these are little signs that you can you can identify them by. Um, it's a nice little artifact. I I really enjoy finding these. I've I've got quite a few of them, but but anyway. Um, now this next one here that I'm going to pick up this this is like a it's the bird it's a bird it, this is this is a um figurine of some sort but you can tell the notch right out of the right under the beak of the bird there's a notch this is very common in the the artifacts You'll see one down that makes the tail of the bird down at the bottom there. And you can see there that that um, they've notched it out um, in order to to define the tail. Now they've done a lot of other things to this, but these are some of the things that that I'm just helping you understand help to identify it. That notch is a very distinct um, mark in, in, in their craft and as they crafted these things that help to identify it. It's something that you can find in in a lot of different um, artifacts that help it helps you to understand it. It's distinct and very, very common. Um, and so um, that might help as you look at it. Those are distinct. Now some of these others, like 
these here that are kind of shaped. They shape them, they notch them, they score them, they do some kind of a thing. You can see right in the very, um, you can see the crack right at, right at the right at the center of the notch. I guess you could right in there where my finger is. That has some distinct marks on it on on all the ones you can see it i i've just done so many of these so many years um that i i recognize the the marks right in where they knocked it out and they must have scored it well i can tell other on other artifacts as i study them that they've they've um notched or scored them to help knock it out and then of course they grind them down to being smooth and um, into the shape that they they wanted in the bird head which works would work as a tool they would haft it onto a um, onto a, some kind of a handle wooden handle or so it could be a hammerstone um, very hard green rock and um or it could have been a weapon like a tomahawk type but it blunt in hand-to-hand -hand combat that would bash your head in pretty easy um here's a slate knife and this this here you can see the notches down on the bottom of it now this would either be hafted or I can, you know, there could have been the way those fit in your fingers. You can actually fit that knife and use it as a hand tool. Also, it wouldn't have been hafted. And those marks fit your fingers. Um, this thing has been ground down, polished into very, very sharp edge. Um, and used, like I say as a as a knife scraper um, very nice slate artifact that they used again you know I know there's people that are so offended that these Native Americans would make such tools that they're used to these beautiful arrowheads but they they you know, I, I don't go around showing my forks. Here's a here's a arrow shaft, um, smoother grinder. But what I wanted to show here, of course, there's the the groove for the arrow shaft, and then right in there are marks where you can see a di again distinct that they've knocked that out, scored it, knocked it out. And your thumb fits perfectly right there and um where that notch is notched out so they can hand grab it. And then there's finger places where you can actually grab. It's hard to see here, but then you can grab it and then and be able to hand hold it. And then the back part of it is so smooth it fits really just in your hand. So you could do a lot of it without really getting blisters or anything. It's really smooth. But anyway, just again Look for those notches. They're just there. They're just some of them aren't so distinct, and some of them are very distinct. But that's why you know it. It is hard. Sometimes you pick these things up and you don't know until you look at them. I end up looking at everything I pick up. Here's a nice little grinder, or what it would be is to to put. Um, you know, it's not. It's a. It's. It looks like a knife, but it's not sharp. But not all tools were sharp. Sometimes they use these narrow to make narrow tools like this to make grooves to grind them down into grooves. Um, whatever. Not everything was sharp, and um, you can see the little thumb indent on the top there, where the thumb can fit, and. It's, it's one of my favorite. I just love finding them like this. It fits so nicely in the hand and 
to where they could use it for, for like I say, you know, doing grooves. There was this is the Stone Age we're talking about, and all these stones were used to work other stones. This here could have been a um, a digging tool. Um, I'm not quite sure, but but you can see it's notched out, and um, the thumb fits right on the top. So you use as a tool for again digging or or. I don't think it's a pecking stone because it's not the right type of um, way to hold it. This is a nice little tool here. This is a, a scraper knife type. It's really sharp. And, it, and so many are going to say, oh, that's just a rock. But it is not. Again, you can see it's notched out. And that thing fits so perfectly in your hand. These things... you. you I, I'm, I've been doing this for so many years and it, you know I don't want to it's it's so hard to, but there's so many things that distinguish it as an artifact just not this it's so hard to tell on a video how distinctly they are but th they always have these knives and scrapers have a certain curve on their blade so that when they rotate it when they use it 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 works perfectly in the scrape just the way the blades curved and around. Here's one you can tell it has been hafted. In fact, you can see some here when I turn it around. You can see there, the marks there. You can see um, how they they would have hafted this. Again, it would have been a hammer stone. Um, it could have been, a, again, used as a weapon, kind of like a tomahawk in the sense except dull hand to hand um, and so here's something that you can see the marks there finger marks you can see in there where the fingers fit which make it nice this is a, a polish or grinder makes it nice that your fingers can fit right in there this curves up so that you can hold it um, in your hand it has top notches there too. You can see the finger notches there. You can hold it also on the top there. And I'll, on a, anyway, it fits perfectly. See, that's so smooth there on the bottom. And that that's used as the grinding surface or polisher. And you hold it with those. And then this way, you can grab it and you can see how it's been kind of worked on there. Um, for for grinding um, it these all have unique shapes like if, it's hard to really show that, that there's a um, there's a figurine or, or kind of a beaver type of a um, design on it the, this here's the same thing except just it's just finger marks and able to hold it you can see it's notched out there at the top um, that's a distinguished thing but the finger marks and you can see if I hold it where my fingers are there you can see the um, places for those f the, f the fingers um, and so and then here's a, what I call a pecking stone but it's notched out there see if you pay I hope I've showed enough here you can see it start and you start to recognize it even as you watch this video that those distinct marks on there and then that's a pecking stone it holds it in your hand and you're able to you know helps to form these stones kind of like sculpting in a way so um, anyway there's um, the, the these are just ex some few examples that I had but it might help as you go out and identify these rocks after you've done it as many years as I have it starts to you just start to see these things um, there's so many different things to look for um, but these are these are one common thing uh, thanks for watching